Welcome back. This is Crypto Big Boss. Hey, did you guys see this? Um, for all those folks out there who are trading uh, Decentraland, uh, you might want to take a look in your little inbox. I got a security report out talking about uh, compromise of emails. Listen to this. Your email address may have been acquired by malicious actors due to MailChimp data breach as reported by TechCrunch. Please stay alert as they may use it to try to send you emails impersonating the Decentraland Foundation. And they go into uh, what do, uh, let's see what it says here. What do I have to do? Never download anything directly from an email. The Decentraland Foundation will never attach files to an email for you to download or ask you to download anything directly from an email. If you have something for you to download, such as our upcoming desktop client beta, we will direct you to Decentraland.org. Okay, now look at this. Look at this. If you click on a link in an email, check the URL of the page the link takes you to. Make sure that the URL always ends with Decentraland.org. First of all, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't click on any links in the email anyway. But let's keep going on. Always check that Decentraland is spelled correctly and that it ends in .org before taking an action on the web page if you were directed there by a link. Here are some examples of how phishing scams may try to deceive you. Now look at this. So they got Decentraland, which is misspelled. Decentraland.com, which is spelled correctly, but it's not a .com. Decentraland is a .org. And, of course, the correct spelling here, Decentraland.org. Um, so then it goes on to say, in addition to confirming that the URL is correct, you can make your verification process easier by bookmarking any Decentraland pages you access frequently, such as the launch page. If you're on a page that you think may be impersonating a Decentraland page, one that you had previously bookmarked, you can check to see if uh, the bookmark star is in the upper right corner of the search bar um, and whether the search bar is highlighted indicating if you're on the Decentraland page as seen below. Man, this is real scary. Now, this is what I wanted you guys to hear about right here. How did this happen? MailChimp, the service that Decentraland Foundation uses for sending out newsletters, uh, probably like this one, was compromised on March 24th in a targeted attack against certain accounts that appear to be related to the cryptocurrency industry. The Decentraland Foundation requested but did not receive full confirmation from MailChimp that our account was one of the ones that whose data was compromised on the 2nd of April. Our newsletter mailing list, the email address of anyone who signed up to receive Decentraland newsletters, was as well as some users' names and IP addresses and timestamps are the only data that was accessed by the malicious actors. Well, that's, that sounds like a whole lot of stuff to me. The data breach only involved a download of data. The criminals never had access to actual MailChimp account and were never able to send verified emails from it. This means that if they contact you, they may try to use email that looks similar to Decentraland.org, such as Decentraland.com or Decentraland. Uh, you, you saw the other one up there, Decentraland. Some other variation, okay? What the Decentraland Foundation does to light fraud, to fight fraud. So they're, they're sitting up here going to tell you about what they're going to do, uh, how they're going to work with MailChimp, um, and so on and so forth. Um, you know, this is really just sad, okay? Uh, MailChimp is an incredible service. Um, I had no idea that big companies uh, were really using this, especially, um, you know, uh, company, you know, organizations like the Decentraland Foundation in charge of 
Manicoin are using this. And then these idiots come up here and mess things up. You know, I just hope that the um, data that they have acquired